the horror market today is different than it was quote unquote back then, which is sort of the golden age of literary horror, which I would consider the 80s. The 80s was the golden age of literary horror. Stephen King was probably the gigantic ship cutting through the ice um, at that time. But there were, there were many, many, many brilliant, brilliant, great writers that were inventing practically their own genres of horror in the mid-80s. It could be, not to, not to get too grad school on you, but <laughs> I think about this a lot. It could be that, you know, we were in sort of the Reagan heyday and, and we were, you know, essentially in peacetime and sailing high and everything and, the, and horror reared its head as, as this sort of dark underbelly beneath Reaganomics. And that's why it resonated for people in the 80s. But in the 80s, oh my God, you could throw a horror manuscript in the street. And by the next morning, a publisher had picked it up and was going to publish it. It was incredible. And, and I find it fascinating to look at it in terms of the zombie craze today, the zombie popularity, which resonates today in really fascinating ways. And we are no longer in this economic boom. We are no longer in this peaceful sort of, you know, flying high cocaine and champagne in the, you know, champagne room era. Now times are tough and we're in endless war and people are underwater in their mortgage. And zombies are resonating again and horror is coming back and in new guise. It's fascinating to me. And I think that's why The Walking Dead resonates for people because they tune in every Sunday night. And Kirkman, Robert Kirkman jokes partially, I think he's partially serious, that people love this stuff because they see people that have worse problems than their own. You know, it's like, well, at least I don't have that zombie hiding out in my garage ready to eat my spleen. You know, I can't pay my mortgage, we can't sell our house, but still, still, Gladys, look, these people have it much worse than us. I think there's really some truth to that. But to me, the zombie, just as horror resonated in the 80s, and it became this commercial boom, this sort of gold rush for authors in the 80s. And people were doing tie-ins, speaking of licensed properties. The 80s was just tie-in palooza, because there were just, John Carpenter was, was sort of reaching his first peak of his films. And, and, and Wes Craven, and everybody wanted a tie-in book because the literary horror world was, was selling like hotcakes. And it was just amazing. And that's the era that I came in on the tail end of it, the late 80s and early 90s. That's how I sort of uh, shuffled in a side door into the business. But, it, but zombies resonate today, I think, in a, in a fascinating kind of doppelganger way to the 80s. Um, and, and I think that speaks to how horror works in our culture.